And Nike has just gotten really lazy and really redundant. I mean, because they Chicago everything, they alternate and reverse every retro to death. Like, I can almost guarantee you that, because they're so lazy, we get a Carmine 7. I mean, because they put the hairstyle on six rings, they put them on sixes. Why not? Why not do that if we're just going to be completely lazy? Um, and I think, see, when you were talking about the... Um, Nike you have to say that Motown is uh, is local, which I mean obviously it isn't. Um, I guess all y'all can answer this. What Detroit story would y'all tell on, on one of them joints? Um, I don't know why it came to mind, but I would love to see like an Eastern Market Seven. I'm just I'm just throwing out a retro a, 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 a retro Jordan, of course. But what Detroit story would y'all tell if y'all could? Because clearly Motown is local. But anyway, you know, love the show. Um, you know, I'm excited about the 300 show. Hopefully, y'all do something special, like, you know, Steve may throw on one a special throwback, or y'all may throw on y'all best uh, retros or Yeezy or whatever. But, again, great show, man. I appreciate y'all listening to my voice, man. He brought up the Motown thing, which still just burns me up inside every time I think about it. But uh, what do you ask if we had to think of another Detroit shoe? I would do something for Hart Plaza. You know, uh, the music festival, uh, Dem for the Cult Movement now? Yeah, maybe put you some do like a summer jam shoe. Yeah, you know I would um, do something like a like a big three pack. You know, like you know we know for being the Motor City, so I would like I would base like like an Air Force One high pack. What I, three shoes you pick? With three shoes? No, I was saying I would take like a, the Air Force One high and base it on like a, the the sports car of each brand. You got like the Corvette, you got the the Mustang, and then you got uh, like the Hellcat or something with us. Uh, Chrysler and like base it on those three shoes have the emblem on the heel um, you know there's ways to do it like you know what I'm saying like to to kind of tell the Detroit story um, you know a black bottom if I really want to get deep uh, there's a number of things I could pull from mm -hmm. As far as the Detroit story, uh, Verner's, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, they they been done. Done. They I mean, it's already. been done, but you know, I mean, you can still do it. I mean, shit. They it, did a Verner shoe? New Balance. New Balance. Uh, like Nike, Nike, didn't, Burn rubber. Yeah. Nike didn't threw Chicago theme on every fucking shoe they can think of imaginable. So, I mean, I think I mean, I could do a Verner's still have, if I want like to. like a Michael Jordan here. That's one thing I feel like we Verner's really is the Michael suffer Jordan from in this city is not having like a transcendent story. I would do a Fago pack. Yeah, I did the shirt. Like Harachi low, uh, Who, uh, like the, the Harachis, and do like every colorway, every flavor. What are you about what, to say? Well, I was gonna say, wasn't it the brand that wasn't it the shoe company that did something fago wise? They didn't do a good job. Yeah. No, we, I mean, if we can't remember, then the they didn't. Total disrespect. If we can't remember, we didn't. It wasn't memorable. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, if I guess if I was to do something, it would, <laughs> it would probably maybe be something more along the lines of a. Uh, Send your the, complaints to HR. The jazz scene. That we have, like with Cliff Bills, yep. yep. Bakers, um, you know, something along those lines. Because I just feel like, yeah, there's there's other stories we could tell. In Dude, Detroit. there's so many Detroit stories that are not, not being told. You know, the art scene. You know, I pull from that. Uh, man, there's so many different things, man. Like I, I just, I want to tell mine, but I don't want to tell mine. Well, you, it's a C's probably already tapped you for it anyway, uh, so it's probably know. already in production. We already know they listen, and they already and, know. Listen, this I, ain't the first I, idea they so stuff. I already like did a mock up on my computer and everything. Like, see, now you're telling too much. Now C, C's gonna go and get your files. Value's going up. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of foreshadowing because it was actually I did this about two years ago, and it's a dunk model. It's uh -oh. a what? It's a dunk model. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. So. But I guess that would be my my thing. Wouldn't wouldn't you feel like it would have to be an Air Force One? Just because of how because you could be exchanged. It could be here's a Detroit story to the rest of the world. Detroit here's a shoe that the rest of the world likes. Like kind of. But I, I hate the fact that everybody like I hate the fact when people say local because to me that's what makes the the shit dope. Like when they when Nike SB was doing the uh, the collaborations real heavy with the skate shops, they were doing themes that was local to them but on a mass scale and i thought that was dope because that's you know to get those regional stories mm -hmm. you know because like, you know like some of the shit i would I, first of all i didn't know mm -hmm. and we don't hit we don't get those stories in detroit so like when um the the shop in tampa they did it on uh the gasparilla mm -hmm. you know those dogs oh, the pirate highs yeah you know what yeah. i'm saying like to get these different i think sean cliver was involved in that too the guy behind strange love yeah, even the uh, the well, can we say Prince? Well, we could say it. we not Nike. 
the Prince Dunk Loves that are coming out. That's a local story, but it's still dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter how local it is. Like, if the story is dope, it's dope. I mean, yeah. well, I mean, Premier did a pair of fish ladders, and when they came out, no yeah. one knew what the fuck it was about, and they flopped. And of course, now Dunks and Premier are huge, and the Batowski. Like, that's you know, that was a dope one, and they had some limited dope. ones. Uh, I think if you bought it in store, it actually had the letter P embroidered on the heel. Yeah, which is, I got that pair. So. <laughs> I don't even know why. You drove, you drove all the way up there? Or they I don't even know why I offered that up it voluntarily. To you. Huh? They hand-delivered it to you. Dunks you drove all the way up get. there. When Premier dropped actually, that, that was not like the most difficult release. Actually, in the interest of full disclosure, Premier did look out for me on that pair. We was early on. We was like in the infancy. Like, we were still in the jump man's basement when they did that. Damn. So you went from Premier Skate Shop to Nike Corporate Offices. Dang, I can't say nothing because we technically the guru was there too. So you got to. Hey man, you he was an office there too. He got that Portland stuff. He on. was there too though. <laughs> See, so he, he already repped it. <laughs> hey man, I gotta do a better job of my jersey selection. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we got, we he got, got the Portland. He got. Portland, hey, I'm yeah. back. And he got the Oregon. The no, Oregon. Right, the edges. Tea. Yeah. Oh, listen. I can't even argue because it's all facts. But, but no. But but what you were what you were saying about. How they said something was too local. Yes. What pisses me off with that comment is the fact of, and this is not shitting on uh, Dave's quality meats, but you let a guy design a shoe, and it was supposed to be like bacon. Like that's one I, of the best Air Maxes ever. Like, yeah, but that, that's what I'm saying. Like so, but how how are you gonna say that a story is too local of a story to be able to tell? Right. Y'all did a collab with a local shoe store, or owner of a local shoe store, like. People here in Detroit, or I'm pretty sure anywhere outside of New York, had never heard of the store, or weren't thinking of the store. Y'all still gave that man a chance to do a collaboration, and it turns out to be one of the best collabs ever. I would do so, it. I, to, I ain't gonna say my dunk one, but I would say this one. Another one, what I would do is like a mix and bow Air Max 97, because our freeways, you know, no yeah. mix and bow, and yep. like to have like 96 and 94 going around. I'm like, that would be dope. I mean, I, I, if I had more time to think, I'm pretty sure I can think of more stories, too. The thing is, there are stories to be told, and I think people need to stop looking at sneakers as being... I look at sneakers as more of the canvas, right? And so, like, so with that being said, I would look to find a silhouette that could help me express that story in great detail. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can tell that story. This is what makes the dorm record collection so dope because they are able to take a silhouette and add themes and design features to tell their story. So it's not just the Jordan 14. It's, you know, that kid is Jordan 14 or whatever the shoe is in that pack. And I think that's the way people should look at a collaboration instead of just saying, okay, branding. You know, like, we had my man's here. Like, shout out to him. I was happy for him they got the opportunity. But I'm like, you're just going to throw your brand on the shoe and call it a day. That's not a collaboration to me. And I'm not trying to be harsh, but, like, I'm just being consistent in my judgment. So 